Oh, come back to Nebuzero. We are next to Rakan, the Curio Collector. And here's another quest once you finished Act 3. And uh, the nice thing is, he's right next to a teleporter, so you can find this dude fairly quickly. Anyway, a treasure or trash? Any other cursed items I can help with? I found this old ring left behind by the Triune. They took nearly everything else. Why leave this? The enchantment is disabled, so I've yet to discover its use. The mystery is half the excitement. Energy is the key. No cheaper energy than demonic essences. A bit messy, but nothing you can't handle. The ring is located in that chest. I'll await your return. Okay. Rings, chests, uh, does killing demons not bother you at all? <laughs> I share no kinship with my kind. They are brash, stupid. They come, they squabble, they die. Not me. I've chosen longevity. All right. And uh, wait a minute. Something, something key. Ah, Rakan's chest. Oh, it's that ring. Okay. I oh, was demon essence in the all over the place. Okay. So then, demon essence. Where are you? I found one. There may be a few more in the somewhere in the south, but I think that our best bet is somewhere in the northern section. There we go. Little bit of essence here. Little bit of demon souls there. All right, and we almost filled it. Oh, look at this! A nice event. So, let's do this one. Ah, how convenient. Oh. It's a mother's chosen. I want demons. Nice thing is you can attack them from afar. As long as they stand somewhere in the circle, everything is good. Counted. That was perfect. Okay, first siphon done. Uh, how much longer until I can do this one? There we go, finally. 17 seconds. I think that's enough as long as there are. There's more of them coming in. Okay, we almost got it. We almost got it. You've got to be kidding me! Alright. It would be much easier if these enemies could just be there in larger numbers. Luring them in there in order to kill them, like, come on. Okay, it won't take much longer, and the whole thing is filled. Ah, there, perfect. Back we go. So, the demon essence charged the ring. Here is it. Ah, give it here. No! Drop it. The foul thing bears a blessing. Can't you feel it burn? It was never meant for demons. I suppose I feel a bit itchy. I can see why this would be problematic to the Triune. Can't I keep it in a box? No! What a disappointment. Oh, well. Take it if you wish. You may find a use for it. 
Hmm. A ring with a blessing. What change? Strange turn of events. Now, a foul yet ornate ring originally crafted to channel Stygian magics. On closer inspection, it appears someone has recently inscribed the inside of the band with sigils of the Angiris Council. Hmm. And uh, the thing is, it doesn't have any special effect. Like you equip it and nothing happens. It would be nice if those uh, rings with like special properties actually have special properties, right? Like, I don't know, 5% movement speed or like something negligible, uh, but still yet yeah, present. Maybe even not That's negligible. Maybe it can actually Watch have a decent effect. 10%, 50% increase of damage, right? Uh, that would be fun. So, what do we have here? Um, so, that one does not have any quests. Uh, actually, I have to check this one again, if anything has changed. Let's go back to Jirondai, just in case. By the way, we're... Okay, four more side missions to go. And Jirondai is... Large enough, but it does not have any quests for us. Then we have, of course, Alzuda. Uh, then there's this section here. Okay, I can actually end it fairly quickly from there. Let's check that out. Uh, and nothing in the PvP. Warning. No more PvP beyond these borders. It is actually a good thing. Shouldn't warn people about that. Okay. Then... Oh yeah, then there's uh, this area over here, which is a wee bit tricky to uh, get to. Um, But... To be honest, it's right near C Cat Bardu, And I only have to go south a little bit in order to reach it. And once I'm there, I can also just finish the dungeon that appeared, because why not? For me- Oh, wait a minute. Um, Is there a dungeon here? Yes, there is. Look at that. There's a quest over here, next to the dungeon. There are two, by the way. Uh, the other one is kind of like, not visible. Uh, then there was a... Uh, what was the other one? What was the other one? Where was the other one? Um, next to the strange village. <laughs> Where was that? Uh, over here. Okay, but there's no dungeon around, but similarly enough. Hmm. Maybe the dungeons kind of tell you where the next sign missions are. So that you don't, well, forget them in a way, right? So dungeons that you have to do tell bring you in an area that may have the co an additional side mission as well. So that could be a nice hint, a nice way of making the game help you uh, instead of forcing you to just explore mindlessly, right? Because that is sometimes really annoying. Um, because sometimes you do find quest items in uh, like jars or monsters or ore veins or whatever. And sometimes it takes a little bit, sometimes there's a requisite for it, and it's just weird. And you do it on a flying horse. Right. So, there is, of course, nothing here. Perfect, 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 perfect. And I would have hoped for something more. Hmm. Maybe the side quests will come up later. But let's just go towards the dungeon, and uh, then we will be happy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No one does not trigger any quests, though. An MMO with player-made quests. There was something like that, by the way. Uh, yeah, player-made quests. It's actually something really nice. So you could uh, get some... Collect so and so many items uh, orders on a board or something. Uh, and that quest board, you can just uh, pull quests from it. And then it associates the quest with you, right? You can only handle, like, I don't know, a handful of quests at a time, so not too many, so you can pull all of the quests from the board. But the idea of uh, linking a quest to you, for example, uh, is so that... Well, actually, no... Yeah, so that you always get the reward. Um, or, yeah, in order to get a quest ready, 
or to put it on the board, you have to make sure that the reward is also there, right? Because uh, so you have to kind of like put it in a box, um, and you don't have it available until the quest is solved. It's kind of like having um, a buy or a sell order in the um, in the warehouse, uh, in the warehouse, um, in the marketplace or something, auction house. Hmm. But instead of doing something like that, um, actually have it somewhat different though. Very interesting. Actually, if you really think about it, a buy or sell order in the auction house has the same behavior as a quest, um, as a quest board. Because you look at the buy and sell orders, right? It's not really about killing uh, the wolves, for example, like kill so and so many wolves. It's not about killing the wolves, it's about getting something from them, right? Or making something happen. Um, that would actually be very interesting. You could also have some player housing or something like that. That would be sweet. And uh, then maybe some player economy or so, so they have to build buildings. And then there are monsters coming in, and then the killing monster part actually gets uh, more interesting. Because they destroy the economy, and you don't want that. Therefore, you have to uh, put out some kill orders, right? That would be kind of sweet. Anyhow, uh, let's end this episode and continue with the uh, Forgotten Depths in the next one. Until then, like and subscribe. Ta-ta.